So welcome everybody. My name is Salha Neja. I work for the DRD Regional Office Tunis and I'm very pleased to introduce you today a very special event that we will organize very soon. It's the so-called Falling Walls Lab Tunisia 2023. For those who do not know what Falling Walls Lab is, some information. So Falling Walls Lab is a competition, it's a pitch competition and also a networking forum that brings together a diverse and interdisciplinary pool of students, early career professionals um, by providing a stage for breakthrough and innovative ideas both globally and also locally. We'll explain this to you uh, immediately later. Uh, Falling Walls Lab Tunisia pre uh, call, calls for talented students, researchers and professionals to present their most innovative ideas. Outstanding researchers, students, entrepreneurs and also professionals can apply for the Falling Walls Lab Tunisia latest on May 24th, 2023 to present their ideas in only three minutes. So this will be the challenge and the deadline once again will be on May 24th, so very soon. The main winner qualifies for the global final in Berlin on 7th November and wins a ticket to attend the Falling Walls Science Summit where they get to interact and network with the world's movers of science, business and also policy making. Ale Edin is our guest of today and he was the winner of Falling Walls Lab Tunisia 2022 and we have invited him today to talk a little bit about his experience in Tunis but also in Berlin. So Ale Edin, thank you for accepting the invitation and welcome to our talk. Thank you too for having me. Thank you for the, okay. this uh, invitation. So let's begin, first of all, with a small introduction of yourself. And can you please also tell us a little bit about your career path um, that you have uh, already done? Okay, sure. My name is Aladdin Khantouj, 27 years old, and I am a mechanical engineer and entrepreneur. While I was still studying for my degree, I founded my own startup called Droby. Through Droby, I developed my innovative uh, invention, the Droby drone which solves the problem of labor-intensive pollination in date palm uh, oses. Uh, as an entrepreneur, uh, I have been able to combine my skills in mechanical engineering with my passion of, uh, for innovation and entrepreneurship to create a unique business model. <coughs> Sorry. My experience in both engineering and uh, entrepreneurship has allowed me to take a, a holistic approach to uh, my work and find creative solutions uh, to complex problems. Um, today, I continue to work on developing new and innovative uh, solutions uh, to pressing global challenges. And I am excited to, uh, about the potential of technology to make a positive impact uh, on the world. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Ale Edin, for this introduction. Can you now uh, please brief us about your winning research project? So you have uh, <coughs> taken part in Falling Walls Lab 2022. You have presented a project or, uh, or your innovative idea. Can you present it briefly? And uh, what wall did you break and the challenges you have uh, to overturn uh, during this presentation? Certainly. To provide some more information about my winning research project uh, for the Falling Walls Lab, I developed the Droby, Droby drone uh, to address the unique challenges of date palm pollination. Uh, date palm trees are dioecious plants, meaning that the female trees need to be pollinated to produce fruit. But uh, there is no timing correspondence between the male and female trees. Um, this means that farmers have to collect and store male pollen for months until the female trees are ready to be pollinated in March and April. Um, additionally, the female uh, trees need to be pollinated within three uh, to five days or else they won't, won't produce uh, fruit. <clears throat> to address this issue, I developed uh, an autonomous pollination drone through Droby drone, the Droby drone that can identify and pollinate date palm flowers using artificial intelligence and computer vision. Uh, this technology allows the drone to effectively transfer pollen from one flower to another, uh, 
the Drobi drone can pollinate up to 1,200 palm trees per day, a significant increase compared to the 12 palms that can be pollinated by hand. Uh, not only does the drone improve efficiency and reduce the cost and labor associated uh, with day palm pollination, but it also enhances production and quality by detecting pests in the early stage to allow the, uh, for earlier treatment. Um, in summary, uh, the Droby drone has the potential to revolutionize uh, the date palm industry by improving productivity and profitability, while also providing farmers with a more efficient and effective method of pollination. And that's it. <laughs> Okay, very nice. So it's really um, exciting what you have told us. Uh, my next question is a little bit more practic practical. So um, how did you find out about falling wall slab to knee and what caught your interest? Um, Why have you applied for it? I first learned about the Falling Walls Lab Tunisia uh, through social media and various online platforms. Uh, I was intrigued by the opportunity to present my innovative ideas on a global stage and compete with other talented individuals from around the world. And what caught my interest about, about the Falling Walls Lab competition was the focus on breaking down barriers and finding solutions to pushing uh, global uh, issues. As an engineer, I have always been passionate uh, about using technology to solve real world problems and improve people's lives. Um, the Falling Walls Lab provided me with a platform to showcase my innovation and connect with other like-minded individuals who, who share the same uh, passion for, for innovation and breaking down uh, barriers. Overall, I found the Falling Walls Lab Tunisia <coughs> to be an incredibly uh, incre incredible uh, opportunity to showcase my ideas connect with others and gain valuable experience in pitching my innovation to a global audience. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's it. Okay, so, and you did it with lots of success, I think. You were the first winner and you, you got the ticket to Berlin. So you was, uh, you were at this, uh, at this final in Berlin. So how was this experience? And if, um, and, and if you can describe it in only one word, maybe, uh, what could it be and why? Well, my experience uh, at the Falling Walls Lab final in Berlin was truly unforgettable. Uh, if I had to describe it in one word, it would be inspiring. The atmosphere was electric uh, with so many talented individuals from around the world coming together to share their ideas and innovations. Uh, the presentations were all incredibly inspiring and I was blown about, uh, blown away by, by the creativity and dedication of, the, uh, of my fellow com competitors. Um, and being in Berlin, a hub of innovation and technology added to the excitement of the event uh, well, I had the opportunity to connect with other uh, innovators uh, and industry leaders and gain valuable insights into the latest trends and technologies. Overall, my experience at the Falling Walls Lab fin uh, final in Berlin was truly inspiring and it gave me the motivation to continue pursuing my passion for innovation and technology. And mm -hmm. I can say that it makes, uh, makes me feel that to dream big, bigger. Mm -hmm. Okay, so right. what would you wish for your future career? Uh, for my future career, I hope to continue working on innovation, innovative solution, uh, to real world problems and uh, to have a positive impact on society. I'm very passionate about using technology to make a difference and I hope to continue doing, doing so in my future career. Um, as for my idea, uh, I'm absolutely planning to move forward with it. In fact, since the Falling Walls Lab competition, I have been uh, working tirelessly uh, to further develop my, my drone technology and bring it to market. I believe that um, my solution has the potential to revolutionize the way date palm trees are pollinated and help farmers increase their productivity and improve their crop uh, yields. Um, ultimately, uh, my goal is to make a difference in the world and contribute to a better future through my work. Uh, 
I'm excited about the possibilities that lie ahead and look forward to see to seeing where my career takes me. That's it. Okay, so good luck for this. Uh, wish you all the best. Now my final question. Can you give our candidates some tips uh, for a successful falling walls lab presentation, but also application? Certainly, uh, I would be happy to provide some tips for a successful falling walls lab presentation. Um, first, uh, start with a strong hook. The first few seconds uh, of your presentation are crucial uh, for capturing to the, the attention uh, of the judges and the audience. Start with a strong hook. Uh, that clearly communicates the problem uh, you are solving and why it matters. Um, second, uh, tell a compelling story. People are more likely to remember stories uh, than facts and figures. Uh, using storytelling techniques to create an emotional con connection with your audience and make your presentation more engaging. Um, you can keep it simple. Uh, don't get bugged down in technical jargons or complicated details. Uh, keep your presentation simple and focus it on the most important points. Um, and practice, practice, practice. Uh, uh, rehearse your presentation multiple times to, uh, to ensure that you're, you are comfortable with the material and uh, can deliver it confidently. Um, use visuals, uh, visuals aids, uh, aids such as uh, slides, diagrams, and videos can help to illustrate your points and make it your presentation more uh, memorable. Um, finally, be authentic. Remember to be yourself and let your passion and enthusiasm uh, for your ideas shine through. Um, authenticity uh, and passion uh, can be just as important as the content of your presentation in winning over the judges and the audience. Um, by following these steps, you can increase your chances uh, of delivering a successful following was lab presentation uh, and breaking down the, following, uh, the wall uh, of innovation. And finally, if you feel like you need some guidance or help, don't hesitate to reach out to me. Uh, I'm always available to answer any que uh, questions uh, you may have and uh, help you improve your ideas or presentation. Remember, um, just remember, innovation requires collaboration and I am here to support you uh, on your journey towards breaking down walls and making a positive impact uh, in the world. And yeah, be confident and go for it. That's it. Okay, so these were lots of tips, lots of recommendations that you got from our last year's winner. So, um, and uh, we have also a very generous offer from him. So he's at your disposition if you have any question. Um, yeah. uh, I will repeat once again, application deadline will be on May 24th. And, um, and, and uh, we will be happy to get lots of good ideas and innovative ideas so please apply there are still some um, some days to do it and uh, we will be happy to to um, to have you and to could invite you to um, to the falling walls lab tunisia 2023 and ali edin of course you're also invited if you're interested to come to our lab of this year to see sure. what what's going what's going on what are the the new ideas, you are welcome uh, to be among us. Well, thank you once again, Ali Edin, thank for you, your you. time and for your precious um, information you gave, the experience, the recommendation. I think it's very helpful for everyone who's interested to get further information about Falling Walls Lab Tunisia 2023. Thank you very much, Ali Edin. Thank you so much. Okay.